Hello everyone, I am Shiny Chattajiri. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I would like to welcome you all to this video in technical drawing. Technical drawing is the act of composing drawings that visually communicate how some functions or some structures are constructed. First of all, let's see the uses of engineering drawing in various engineering disciplines. The concepts and applications of engineering drawing is applied in civil engineering discipline. It is also used in mechanical engineering drawings. It is used in architectural drawings. The concepts of engineering drawing is also applied in electrical engineering. The concepts and applications of engineering drawing is also applied in the design of aircrafts and spacecrafts. So it is applied in aeronautical and aerospace engineering as well. First of all, let us see the instruments that are needed in technical drawing or engineering drawing. For preparation of any engineering drawing, we require some instruments. They are first is drawing board, drawing clips. For preparation of drawing sheets in technical drawing, we will require A2 drawing sheet. The next one is a very essential thing that is a drawing sheet holder, T square. The other drawing instruments we require are a pair of set squares. First one is a 45, 45, 90 degree set square. And the second one which you can see is a 30, 60, 90 set square. Next is a 360 degree protector. Another important instrument is a compass. A 30 cm steel scale. For drawing curves, we require a set of French curves. And for any drawing, we require sharpener, eraser, and set of drawing pencils. Now we will learn what are the different grades of pencil used in technical or engineering drawing. Now let us see the different grades of pencil which are available. The drawing pencils are available in HB, B, 2B, 3B, 4B. 5B, 6B, 7B and 8B grades and they are also available in F, H, 2H, 3H, 4H, 5H, 6H. Whenever you are moving from H to 6H, it is of the hardest grade pencil and whenever you are moving from B to 8B, they are of softest grade pencil. The accuracy and appearance of any drawing, whether it is a technical drawing or engineering drawing, greatly depends upon the quality and the grades of pencil that are used. So here you can see the various grades of pencil which are there in front of you and depending upon the grade of pencil you can see the relative hardness of the pencil and the purpose for which the pencil is been used. So first of all you can see 3H grade which is very hard and it is used for drawing construction lines. Next is 2H it is quite hard and it is relatively less hard than 3H grade and it is used for the purpose of drawing center lines, dimension lines, sectional lines or hidden lines. The next one is H grade which is moderately hard and it is used for lettering purposes. The next one is of HB grade which is medium hard and it is used for drawing boundary lines and dimensioning. And the last one is of 2B grade which is soft and black. H and HB pencils are a better option for lettering and dimensioning purposes and in case if you want to draw any freehand sketches where considerable erasing is required to be done then soft grade pencils like HB can be used. Instead of wooden pencils you can also use mechanical clutch pencils with different lead size like 5mm, 4mm and grades like H, 2H, HB etc. A great advantage of using mechanical clutch pencils is that sharpening is not required in such type of mechanical clutch pencils. Now we will talk about the dimensions of the drawing sheets which we have to use in technical drawing. Drawing papers are available in many different sizes and varieties. On the screen you can see six different types of drawing sheets are there with different dimensions. All the dimensions are in millimeters. So for the first one you can see it is A0 sheet which is 841 millimeter by 1189 millimeter. Next is A1 which is 594 by 841. Next is A2 drawing sheet which we are going to use in our technical drawing that is 420 by 594. Next is A3 that is 297 by 420. Next is A4 sheet that is 210 by 297 
and the last one is A5 size sheet that is 148 by 210. So to be more specific, A1 is just the half of A0 sheet, A2 is the half of A1 sheet, A3 is the half of A2 sheet, A4 is the half of A3 sheet and A5 is the half of A4 sheet. To draw or measure any angles in technical or engineering drawing, we need protector. So there are two types of protector which are available. The first one is a 180 degree protector and the second one is a round protector or 360 degree protector. The next very important instrument in our engineering drawing is T-square. T-square is generally made up of hard quality wood but nowadays T-square is available in celluloid or plastic with engraved skin. T-square is used for drawing horizontal and parallel lines. Now we will see the parts of a T-square. So this part of the T-square is called as the head of the T-square. This part is known as the blade of the T-square. And here you can see a hole is there which is known as the hanging hole. In earlier times, the head and the blade of the T-square were made of hardwood but nowadays they are made up of celluloid or plastic. So this portion of the board is known as the working edge of the board and so this is the working edge of the T-square and the length of this blade, this is the total length of the T-square. For drawing parallel lines, we need the use of set square. So there are two types of set square which are available. One is a 45-45-90 set square Another is a 30-60-90 set square. In combination with the T-square, lines at 30 degree or 60 degree angle with vertical or horizontal lines can be drawn with 30-60-90 set square and 45 degree line with a 45 degree set square. That's all for today. Meet you all soon in a new video. Thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and share it with your friends.